Hey guys, what is up? Willie Eventual here, or King Protein, and welcome to a new series on the channel. Now, we're getting a lot of new series, but I'm trying to get all the videos up, you know, guys, because I've been doing as many videos, but guys, it's the weekend, I can get loads of videos up for you guys, and hopefully a live stream as well, if I can get it working. But yeah, guys, welcome to Terraria. This was requested by one of my viewers in a comment, and we're going to play through it. Um, I have already started on it and I have played a bit. I did it in a stream, but the stream was really laggy, so you guys couldn't really see the content. So, guys, I'm going to play through a series so you guys can see what my Terraria world's like and how can we improve. So, we're going to play. We're going to go on to William R., my character, and of course, my kind of not full name, but my name. I'm going to start game, Renshaw Uni, a Lego. I don't know why I called it that, but you know, I, ca I call things weird things, you know. Some weird names I choose. Not names. <laughs> Some weird names I choose. I'm what has happened here. Okay. That just went weird. But guys, welcome to the tower. Yes, guys, in here we have everyone living. We have some spare rooms. Well, actually, no, we don't. We have no spare rooms at all. But you yeah, guys, we have some rooms for other people to go in. And yeah, that's pretty much so far what we have done. I guess we'll have a look in the chest so you guys can see what we have in the chests. So the bottom chest is kind of my chest. So we just have, so, oh god, what did I pick up there? I don't want you. So I'll quickly deposit some stuff that we don't really need. Like bait and stuff like that. Animals, you know, all that stuff. Um, I can't deposit it, it looks like the chest is full. But yeah, just some, just rubbish. We've got a, a creeper, like a creeper suit there. But we need, I think the hat's somewhere else. It might be in my piggy bank. Oh wait, that's my grappling hook. Yeah, guys, we have grappling hooks. This is where my money bank, where my money is kept. I might deposit some of my money in there now. Yep, that's all my money, bars and stuff like that. All my precious things. Get off of that, please. So let's head up to my brother's kind of chesty place, where he's got 240 rails, some shoes and tins where he goes shopping, um, shopping fishing. He has another suit down there. Um... Three of these seaweed, that some's a pet turtle, I think they were mine that I put in here. Some other stuff that he uses, yep. Um, wait, wait, I think we missed a chest, no we didn't. And here's another pumpkin chest, I used this, that's a creeper mask. Some butterflies and stuff, more animals, a water gun, some blocks that we may use in the future. We have some tools to craft things, we have loads of NPCs to help us, and that's pretty much it. So guys, we're going to go exploring. So you guys can see how the world is and stuff like that guys if you look in the top right that is my health i do have quite a lot of health you do only start with i think five hearts but i collected life crystals which you find underground to get your health up then on the far right just on the side where the recording circle is we have mana stars which i am um, when i use magic those mana stars are my pretty much magic fuel and power so let's get some weapons out here so we can so we won't really die so we get our zombie arm stuff like that i normally use this it's a um a axe that's a weapon as well let's just quickly have a look at it so the war axe and knight 20 melee damage 12 percent critical strike chance it's got average speed average knockback and 75 percent axe power so it's my best axe and my best weapon so yeah we're going to use that also I have a bow as well for um uh what you call it uh projectile combat that's it oh so we're just gonna kill slimes to get gel so we can make torches and some other things on our terraria journey and yeah so we have another slime down here that we're going to slaughter with our nice wax and knight or well, looks like he's gone over there with his friend but he ain't gonna help you dude because you're both dead so we're gonna carry on just up here, I'm gonna jump, yeet, okay, so there's a bunny rabbit here, we're not gonna kill it, I'm just gonna leave it there to swim in the water, hopefully not drown, oh and yes guys, there's full damage just like Minecraft in some other games, just like this, so we have a pinky slime guys, pinky slimes drop a gold coin, which is um, the second best currency you can get in this game I think, so it looks like they want to get some wood, so we're gonna get some wood, uh, if I can get to the tree, so guys, this axe is really good, as you can see by how it just chops the tree down really easily. Now your first axe it takes about, I don't know, about 15 swings, this only takes about 2. So we've really, you know, done well with um, our axe. So yeah, we're just going to cut down some trees, 
It's not really what I came for, just to explore, but because they're there, we might as well get some more wood. So we have a nice supply, so we don't have to go out, get more wood to make things. So there's a demon eye there, but because we have a war axe, as we swing our axe, things are going to die in its um, area of um, attack. So there's a zombie Eskimo here, we're going to take you out, get our silver coin and some other money and stuff. So there's a mine down here, I have already explored it, so I don't think it's worth to go down there, that's a zombie Eskimo. I'm going to take you out real quick, I'm going to head up here. So there is more trees, we're going to quickly chop them down and quickly take the wood. And acorns of course, which we can plant back so we can get more trees um, in the grassy lands because that's the other place where you can plant acorns. I think you can plant them in another two er no, yeah, another two areas that are in this terraria world, both evil, that we will check probably check out maybe in the next episode or maybe in this episode. So there is a demon eye over there. We're going to leave him to fly around unless he comes over here. I guess that's a good place to kind of attack him as he's kind of stuck. So off demon eyes, you can get lenses. Now lenses can make um, c can make a boss, which is like and the Eye of Cthulhu. And that is the boss which drops um, um, these bars called, I don't know what they're called, but they're purple bars which make, made my war axe in the night and my um, bow so we'll, so probably in episode I will um, defeat that on my own because I did have some help from my brother to defeat it so there's some trees here I'll be back with you when I've cut down all these trees guys alright guys so all trees have been cho chopped down we've collected all stuff so we have a nice flat ground here we could build some kind of safe house so we'll leave that idea for another episode um, this zombie Eskimo is getting the better of us Okay, so let's keep heading out. So right now we are at the beach now, or the desert. But we can get cacti. Probably just, if we break it enough, we'll probably just collect it. Collect some of this side to cacti, then we'll leave it. Some demon eyes we need to handle with. But because we have so much health, we're not going to die from them. Neither of these zombies. So we have a pink prickly pear. Guess they'll be good for some kind of crafting or eating, I don't know. Don't really, I don't really know about most of the items. I did have this on my Xbox 360, but guys, it did break due to my sister kind of knocking it off a um, stand where it was on. So it kind of broke the hard drive inside, so it unfortunately got the red ring of death. It was a new one as well. It was the Xbox 360 Elite, I think it's called. It's a nice black um, new one. So for Christmas... I will be getting an Xbox One. Also, guys, from the 1st of December to the 25th of December, I will be doing a Vlogmas, guys. Kind of like an Advent vlog. An Advent vlog, I don't know. We'll just call it a, um, a, a Vlogmas. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, we're going to head out. Might as well get these trees as well. Gosh, we get a lot of wood from these. This is a good idea. We came here. We're just going to get wood, kind of exploring the world for you guys. And I guess after I've chopped down some of these trees, I'll head home. So guys, when I said we're going home, we're actually not going to go home, guys. Because we are near to um, a um, temple. Here it is. So guys, this temple here, this man right here, at night time, we can spawn a boss called Skeletron. So guys, what Skeletron is, he is a... He is a really powerful boss, powerful the Eye of Cthulhu, and another boss. And guys, um, what that boss does to you is a lot of crazy stuff. Um, he has parts of his body that you have to get um, to actually defeat him. So, like, you have to defeat his arms and his legs, then his body, then his head, then he's actually defeated. But mostly, it's the head that's at last point, and then when you've de defeated the head, um pretty much all the other bodies parts go and kind of explode so yeah that's pretty much it so we need to so guys we're gonna keep on traveling because i know we're near the um the sea which is pretty much the end of this side of the map so let's quickly head there right away so there is slimes and stuff we're not gonna bother them we might as well get this weapon out get the throw a knife and here we are at the sea so guys, what my brother made, he made two little fishing shelters where we can go fishing, catch fish, other things, and yeah, pretty much. So there are some pink jellyfish here. 
We're going to take them out. Not on a date. Let's quickly get that pink jellyfish. If we can get that pink jellyfish. I'm going to head back up. Surface to catch breath. Then we'll head back down. And that is a shark, guys. You don't want to mess with sharks at this level. Or they will just kill you straight away. Like he's going to do to us now, unfortunately. So we have lost some money and stuff. But, you know, it's all for the YouTube videos. Here. But, yeah. So guys, we're back home. That was quite a good explosion there. We're going to quickly drop off, drop off all our stuff. So if we head up right now. So, guys, let's drop off um, some stuff. Um, so there is one space. So we'll put this type of wood in. Then we need to put the other type of wood in another chest, which we'll do. Just put it in this chest, I guess. There we go. We'll put in all the rest of the stuff that we don't need at the moment, like the sticky grenades, cactuses, the lenses, the acorns, more acorn seeds and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Wait, do we have penguins? We have penguins. Need to put them penguins away. There we go. Feel weird because like we're putting penguins in a chest. Which isn't very good. So guys, we'll explore over here, I guess, for a little bit. Because guys, on this side is another little bit of um, landscape. And it's different to just a normal grassy one and a snowy one. And the desert one. It's really different. So yeah, guys, um, we will... Um, uh, yeah, we will do that. So guys, there it is. The edge of this, plant, uh, this um, area. So guys, we'll go to that area in the next episode. So guys, for now... We will um, head back. We might as well talk to all the NPCs, guys, just to get you a picture of what all the NPCs do and what their job is in this Terraria world. So, guys, this first NPC at the bottom here is our guide. And you get this guide at the start of your Terraria adventure when you start up your world. The Pura says, Greetings, William. Is there something you can help with? If you click help, he will give you a, um, a kind of, what do you call it? I forgot the things, the words... He'll give you a lot of tips, so with a right stuffing, one could coax an evil, ungrateful spirit to inhabit the body of a sacrificed turkey. A, sac a sacrificial turkey. So guys, I think we have to kill a turkey to kind of spawn a boss, which will be interesting. Here we have the medic. And she can serve you, she, uh, she can serve you with heals. She is kind of like... Kind of tells you that like, I need to talk to someone or you know, so I need to have a serious talk with Jack How many times this week have you come up with serve lava burns? Ah, oh, the poor guy. Anyway So ah They will tell tales of William R someday good ones. I'm sure so this guy is the merchant and um, With this guy we can go to his shop and we can buy things. This is a turkey feather It costs 10 gold right now our money is 46 silver and 39 copper So we can't get the turkey feather at the moment up here, we have two people in the same room for some reason. So, guys, the person with the um, black kind of grey hat on is the fisher. So, he says, You ever wonder why the lakes on the surface of snowy areas of this world ice over? <laughs> I don't. The fish, however, do. A fish made out of ice would be a great offering, a mightily and amazing mouse. Go, my loyal subject, and bring me this tundra trout with haste. So, guys, what he wants to do is make us catch a ice fish for him and he'll probably give us some kind of prize or something back which would be cool so we'll probably do that in an episode so guys here we have the painter and painter check out by me now the girl can paint the town red this guy's pretty much he sells painting stuff wallpapers pretty much stuff to furnish your um house so up here in our next floor we have another two people kind of walking at the same time um, oh yeah, so this guy is the, um, demolition NPC, and what he does is he has a shop where he sells grenades, bombs, and dynamite. So these will do an area of damage, um, grenades are the least, bombs are the kind of middle, and dynamite is the most. So guys, this is, um, the grass, like, greenhouse lady. The sands of time are flowing as well as not aging very briefly. So guys, this person sells a load of plant stuff. She sells purification. Perf oh, I don't know. Purification, I think. No, purification powder. Then she sells grass seeds, some flowers, acorns, a dirt rod, and this magically moves dirt. A pumpkin seed, grass walls, and flower walls. So you can make a little grass room, which would be pretty cool. Then finally, at the highest floor, 
we have this person. I think she is kind of like a magic lady. And she sells confetti guns, smoke bombs. Wait a sec. There's someone inside her. It's the party lady. Yeah, inside her is the party lady. So there goes the party lady. She sells a confetti gun, a smoke bomb, a bubble machine, confetti, a bubble wand, fireworks box, and a firework fountain. And then the other person, if we can get to her, um, will it change the speech bubble? I hope so. Nope. Will we ever get to this other lady? Oh my goodness, come on. Ah, uh, come on. Hi guys. No, don't do a video, I don't want.